Ever wondered how those sneaky devices in spy movies block every signal in a room? Let's break down how jammers actually work in five simple steps. Number five, it all starts with your phone. Your phone is constantly talking to the nearest cell tower, sending and receiving signals on specific frequencies. Think of it like a radio station tuned to a particular channel. Number four, now enter the jammer. A jammer is basically a radio transmitter that's designed to be extremely loud and obnoxious. But in the world of radio waves, number three, the jammer blasts out a powerful signal or noise on the exact same frequencies your phone uses to communicate. It's like someone screaming into a megaphone right next to you while you're trying to have a conversation. Number two, this noise completely overwhelms the original, weaker signal from the cell tower. Your phone can't hear the tower anymore, and the tower can't hear your phone. The connection is effectively broken. Number one, and just like that, you have a no service zone. No calls, no texts, no data. It's a simple but powerful way to create a bubble of silence. Dot, pretty cool, right? But remember, using them is illegal in most places. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech breakdowns.